I'm going to be sharing with you and talking you through Lancashire's bespoke Early Years Pupil Premium Toolkit. Early Years Pupil Premium is allocated to support you to improve the quality of children's early years education with support that can narrow the gap and improve school readiness and outcomes for all children. This bespoke toolkit has been created to support you with your thinking around not only your eligible children and any gaps they may have, but also your staff, their training needs and how you can further support them within their role as they continue to support all children, but especially those children who may be disadvantaged. This page provides you with a brief summary of Early Years Pupil Premium, along with the five key things that we know make the biggest difference to children's outcomes. These five key things will be explored further over the coming slides. Remember, you do not need to use this toolkit, but it is essential that you do evidence how you are spending this additional funding and the impact it is having on narrowing gaps in learning. By now, you should know which of your children on roll are eligible for Early Years Pupil Premium. Remember, circumstances may change and some children may be new to receiving this additional funding and some may no longer attract it. This page is your child information overview sheet. Here you will find space to add the names of your eligible children, any identified gaps in learning, along with barriers to learning such as poor attendance, as well as columns stating whether each child will benefit from individual, small or group work, along with the focus for that child or group. Finally, the last column is for how much spending each child attracts. The third page of the toolkit begins to really focus our thinking on our staff, their knowledge and their skills. This knowledge and skills audit is also a useful training log document which you could use to filter into your setting improvement plans. The first column titled Key Drivers lists the five key things that the EPE, the Effective Provision of Preschool Education project, highlighted as those things that make the biggest difference to all children, but especially our most vulnerable, along with additional prompts to support you with your thinking. The first key driver is quality of adult child verbal interaction. Consider all your staff. Do you have staff, maybe especially newer members of staff, who will benefit from additional support and training around high quality back and forth interactions? Are staff confident with sustained shared thinking? Jot down their names and how you are hoping to support them through maybe in-house support, training from ourselves, additional research and relevant reading. And put these in the relevant col columns and then finally the cost. Remember, your Early Years Pupil Premium is best used to support with staff training, as this will ensure all children receive high quality Early Years education in a language rich setting where your staff are highly skilled, experienced, warm and nurturing and where you provide an age appropriate curriculum. Next, we have understanding the curriculum. So this gives you the opportunity to consider your personalised curriculum and whether all your staff are fully confident with talking about it. It's the why this and the why now. Knowledge of how children learn. Again, are all staff fully confident with child development? And do your staff support the I can attitude? And do they themselves have an I can attitude? Adult skill in helping children to resolve conflicts. This continues to be an area that we must focus on within our settings. Do all staff understand the importance of core regulation what this looks like and how they can support children. Are all your staff ace aware? Again, use the additional columns to document your actions and resources. Parental partnership and how parents support their child's learning at home is the final key thing that the EPI project recommended. If you haven't already done so, you may wish to name a member of staff as the Parental Involvement Coordinator or PICO. Have a look on the Early Years website. You will find some fantastic resources that have been created for you to share with and engage your families in their child's learning at home. The 
the last two sections within the key driver column focus our thinking on specific skills and knowledge and widening children's life experiences. So do you have a language lead within your setting? What about Welcome on Early Talk Boost? Widening children's life experiences. Are all your staff aware of children's individual strengths and prior experiences? How can you introduce children to new experiences whilst also strengthening others? Finally, we come to the Early Years Pupil Premium Action Plan. If you have any surplus funding left once you have developed your staff's knowledge and skills in all the previous areas, then use this funding to support and focus your thinking around individual eligible children.